Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool wooden wall crank telephone. This is a Western Electric 250W and this is Aaron's equipment from Missouri and Aaron's a school teacher over at Parkway he's a history teacher and he's into older uh, telecommunication devices I believe and he also wants to be able to show this at his class and so the kids can see you know uh, basically a phone that's a hundred years old that still works or still can work on a modern day line and that's a pretty cool thing. So we want to do an initial checkout on this telephone and we're going to be converting this telephone for use and we want to start over here at the receiver capsule. Now I've already taken the cord and cut the cord here because this will be removed. Uh, we're going to install a cloth cord on this unit. Also we want to show you the receiver capsule. Somebody's made this uh, diaphragm here and then we want to take the unit out. I want to show you what that looks like. And this receiver will be upgraded because we want Aaron to be able to have a conversation on this telephone without having any issues with uh, quality and transmit and receive issues so that will be upgraded. We're also going to upgrade the transmitter. Uh, we build and design an amplified transmitter at the shop here and we're going to be installing that amplified electronic transmitter into the transmit section here. So we also want to go through our hook switch and make sure that that's uh, cleaned and oiled. We're going to go through the crank. That'll be um, oiled and gone through. We may have to adjust the points on that. So we'll go through that also. At this point, the unit does ring the bells when you crank the crank and we'll try that real quick. Now every once in a while we get a little noise out of that crank so we definitely want to oil it and kind of go through it. Now another issue I want to talk about is the card that was on this unit and this was in front of the magneto so it was basically kind of blocking the magneto. We're going to do a still picture of this card and it says the New England Power Company and it just goes through some items here. On the other side it says do not remove the crank. Now I'm not sure why that is but they had this inside the telephone in front of the crank and we want to go ahead and set that down because we want to show you the inside of the telephone and we had to remove that card because we have to work on this telephone on the inside here and we do not want it to get damaged in any way. So they had this card sitting right here under that plate so it was tucked in there and it was in the way of the magneto. We also have a schematic in this unit. That's cool. You don't see the schematic to the telephone very often. Uh, they used to glue them to the door and uh, you don't see that very often. Over the years people would uh, take them off or they would just come off and uh, it's very cool to see the original schematic to this telephone and we'll do a still picture of that also. Now even though the bells are ringing, we want to go through the solenoid. We want to make sure our points here are cleaned and they have the best contact we can get. Of course we have our hook switch. That'll be gone through. We have some connections here and we have some connections on the other side. 
And then our capacitor here, um, we'll do a still picture of that. It says Western Electric. So that's real cool. This telephone's in very good condition. Now we also want to talk about how we're going to make our connection here to the telephone line and we'll be installing a modular port adapter in the upper portion of this telephone and that way Aaron can simply bring in any length, any color line cord he chooses and bring it through the hole that's in the back of the telephone and plug right into the port. It makes for a simple, easy plug-and-play connection. And we also need to install a circuit that we design here at the shop that allows you to walk up to the magneto here and crank the crank and ring the bells but yet not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line because uh, you don't want to backfeed any voltage into the telephone line and you will still be able to get a call that comes in and your original bells will ring. So that's what that circuit enables you to do. This also gives you a little bit of a closer look and we'll do some still pictures. So we're going to go ahead and take a short break. We're going to get a start on this telephone and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this unit. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we're in the middle of the process of working on the magneto. We wanna go through our points here, and we wanna make sure that they're properly adjusted. We also wanna check our output. We know it is ringing the bells at this time, but we also wanna oil this unit, and this gives you a look at it. Go over here to the gear side and then we can go back over to the point side here and that's what a magneto looks like removed from our telephone we've also installed our electronic amplified transmitter our cloth cord for the receiver capsule the receiver capsule has been upgraded and we're in the middle of the process of rewiring some issues that we need to rewire. And so what we'll do is come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this telephone. So we'll take a short break. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this wooden wall crank telephone. We're going to run through a little bit about what went on. We went ahead and installed a cloth receiver capsule cord. Our receiver has been upgraded, the capsule on the inside. There's been no change on the outside. We also installed our electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop. We went through the bells, the solenoids, the magneto, we rewired parts of this telephone the way we wanted them wired to work the way we want them to work. We also went through the hook switch, all the connections. Some of that had to be rewired also. We installed our modular port so Aaron can simply bring in any line cord, any length, any color, and simply bring it through the back of the telephone and plug it into the port. And that makes for a simple easy clean connection. We also installed our circuit that we design here at the shop that allows you to walk up to this telephone and crank the magneto and ring the bells but not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line 
but yet when you get a call that comes in, your original bells will also ring. So we're going to do some still pictures, and that'll show the work inside. Now that we're ready to start our final checks, we want to go ahead and ring the unit. So we'll use the magneto and we'll crank that and ring the bells. Then we'll go ahead and use our analyzer like we were getting a phone call that's coming in and we'll ring the unit with the analyzer. We'll go ahead and let that ring a few times. I'll let it go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. Now I want to tap the hook switch that's going to cause dial tone to go away and a 1 will show up on the analyzer and I want to go ahead and talk into the transmitter if you watch this red light here you can see every time that red light lights up that's an indication of hundred percent modulation on transmit one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm about at least two foot away from this telephone, and that's how sensitive we design this transmitter. That way, you don't have to get right up to the spit cup and talk like they would have had to in the old days. And so, you can uh, go ahead and talk on this telephone and have the clarity and the transmit and receive that you need to hold an everyday conversation. I can also go ahead and tap on the transmitter cup and you can watch the uh, red light on the analyzer. So it's very sensitive and we want to go ahead and hang up. Now I have a button on this switch box and when I press this button that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and gives us a line out. And we can go ahead and use a tone dialer and we can call a uh, time and temp number and we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll give you some dial tone. We'll use our tone dialer and dial that number. Okay. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Aaron and he can enjoy this telephone. It's a very cool Western Electric 250W and I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. 
You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.